Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play SimCity with me, XPUX. Um, last time on SimCity, we ventured off with a little experiment and uh, didn't work out exactly as I had planned or wanted it to be working out. So I think, uh, I think what we're going to do is, you guys can see here that we have some... We have some serious demand generated by this city that we're not settling. And there's two things I think I want to do with this city. The first thing I think is, I think I want to get a university down. Because I think I want to get away from dirty industrial and start doing some manufacturing. Let's take a look at education and see where we're at. We're at two hats. So I think we're going to plop down a community college is the first thing we're going to do. I'm going to get rid of probably, oh, probably this much industry. Right along here, I think. These factories right here. And uh, start working on something else. And I'm going to turn this back on and see if anybody uses it. I kind of don't think they will. And now I'm going to turn it off. It costs way too much money. Alright, so first things first. Let's do some demolition. And then somebody was mentioning they wanted me to do this. So I'm going to see if I can, no, I can't do that. Not without moving this wellness van. This is just about, wouldn't that be something? Well, I guess I could, no, I can't do that either. What about like, Jesus, jeepers. Holy jumping, as Jennifer would say. Alright, so those, these are all linked up now. Now let's get back to our demolition tool. I've got an abandoned building somewhere. And a homeless person. Right there. Out of money. Alright. Gonna reclaim some of the city. from industry and all right that looks good to me now this down here is gonna become our university drive because we got space and make sure we get some bus make sure we have good bus coverage these guys are left alone out there I think I'm going to make these into medium wealth homes. Alright. So let's go down here for a second now. Oh, we're at cap We are not at capacity. Don't even... Don't even try. Oh, I just spent a whole bunch of money. Pretty soon this is going to start pumping into the ground. Look at how much demand we have. It's so frustrating. If I don't have enough workers, yeah, I shouldn't have any demand. I wish that was how the RCI indicators work, but it's obviously not. Alright, I'm also going to get rid of that location, but I'm going to wait a little bit. So, now, medium wealth is what I said, right? That's what I said. Let's put down a park. A big park right on the edge of the beach. Colorful? No, too small. Too small. Why can I... Oh, because I don't have a Department of Tourism. I do think I can fix that, though, right? No, I can't. Well, we only need 3,000 residents, <laughs> so... 
Now what that should do is that should unlock this guy here and these factories should start becoming manufacturing centers. Do I not, have we not met our, the burden of our needs? 74% I see. When daytime comes, and I have imports, exports turned on, right? Yeah, metal is really good export, by the way. If you're looking to make money through exportation, exploitation, exportation, exportation. We need 1,100 residents, and a bunch of them medium wealth. Did I have anything else I was gonna do? We have, I think we have a few too many garbage trucks, but that's okay. Cause we're not really picking up as many cans as we need. One, two, three, four, six, and actually the dumping zone is almost full. Protesters, lots of them. Long wait for mass transit. If you guys are wondering why I turned off the shuttle bus, shuttle buses are l less efficient than the big municipal buses. They carry about half as many people. So I figure, like, having two buses on the road, and th this is more buses. 18 is more buses than you need for a city of this size, but it'll help us uh, stay connected. Let's take a look here. We need money, and it's Jeremy. Too many injuries and it's Jeremy. See, I thought I built this place. I did five. Did I shut down my clinic though? I didn't shut down my clinic. All right, I'm gonna shut down that clinic because I want the Sims to visit this hospital and we'll see if that is uh, too, it has a really negative effect. I don't know if it will. Yes, I realized I just deleted that factory but I kind of wanted to get rid of that factory anyway because we currently don't have enough workers to staff it and we need to make sure our sewage treatment is effective wow did we just go through a whole day and not teach any college students or am i just totally crazy a bunch of buildings that are growing we need this this city really needs customers because there's a lot of commercial I think well, not too too much commercial but a bunch this is just abysmal I, I hate that it does that my cell phone okay so I think we should be okay on services, to be honest. Just keep an eye on patients being treated, because that, that should really help. Lots of air pollution. No radiation. No ground pollution near our water. Germs map, yeah. We have to clean up this whole industrial district before the germs will go away, unfortunately. Usually, Sims will drive to the college. Um, um, so was it like, yeah, so people are starting to attend. Wow, that happened really quickly. Faster than I thought it would. Well, hopefully we can burst that education bubble and get rid of some of this dirty stuff. I, I meant to deal with it earlier, I just wasn't really thinking about it. I was kind of thinking about how cool I thought the recycling center was. We've got a fire, but that's okay, because they're not burning down, they're being extinguished. We've got to 75% approval, and we are incredibly close to getting the largest city hall. A 
which is all good stuff. Yeah, I don't think I need this guy on. He's a hundred and this guy's four hundred, yeah. Turn that off. For now. This worked out okay, I think. Really, all this high-density commercial is really hard to, um, actually staff. This is something I don't understand. I don't know if it's bugged, but the community college is teaching... It says 186, but 517? I'm not really sure what's going on there. Oh, 4,000 people moved out. All right, let's just get some medium wealth people in. Screw waiting. All right, boom. Just a bunch of beach parks. So that's got to be enough to get those houses to grow for medium, medium wealth. And maybe right here too, let's take a look here. Can we put it on the outside? No way. Eh? Has to go through the like, the middle right there. Wonder if that's going to be enough. No? I don't think there's an actual, like, I don't think there's an actual beach that you can build. As far as I know, anyway. And I don't think there's a tourist perk for a beach, either. Large skate park, basketball court. I think I prefer nature myself. So that definitely worked here. And, oh, it looks like it's doing some stuff here. Ooh, we've got some unhappy sims here. This is actually a really good place for medium wealth as well. I'm just trying to, like, m maximize... Um, we're obviously having trouble with medium wealth, right? Um, oh, 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 we're finally getting some medium wealth factories. That's good. That's good. We popped... It looks like we popped our, our bubble. Or not. Okay. That's fine. I don't know. So it must be that there's like four different time periods for classes, so there's four different time periods people show up. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how that works, but... However it does, I guarantee you it's a mystery to me. Alright, let's just go hog wild here. And get ourselves some very happy medium wealth sims to move in over here. And the reason I'm doing that is this city eventually... Oh, yes! Got there. Since the next upgrade is at... 300? 1,000? Want a park nearby. Well, there's a park nearby. Or, no, that's... I wonder if I can... There you go. Now you have a park nearby. So we still have a lot of unfilled jobs. Especially high wealth ones. Only 300 though. That's the hard one. High wealth sims are pain in the neck. I don't really want to build anywhere here. It does look like our industrial area is finally uh, 
working up though. Looks like it, it's all teched up. It doesn't show here for some reason. Figure that out. If you figure out why it doesn't show in the education, but the industry is just growing, you, you can send me a PM or comment. Because <laughs> I have no idea. As much as I love this game, like I, and I really do enjoy playing it and love it, quite a bit of it is just a total mystery to me. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, they kind of do stuff, but I don't really know why. Looks like our recycling depot is working well. And we have enough water, although we probably could use another bucket at this point. And we could use... Well, let's take a look at crime here. See, crime to me seems fine. We could use two more police officers. That's for sure. Alright, let's get rid of this stupid clinic. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? Here's what we'll do. We'll take a look here. Uh, so that seems to be fine. I'm gonna build more of these wellness vans. And there's a, the reason I'm building these wellness vans it may seem, you may be like, why are you doing that? But these, they actually drive around and help Sims become more healthy. And I think that's like one of the big problems our city has. I have yet to actually see one driving around. Because they're gigantic, apparently, but... Pardon me. Sorry, guys, I've been... I've been kind of... Kind of sick the last couple of days, and so... Trying not to put my dinner on the microphone. Ah, you guys don't want to hear that. I really like how the city looks with the lake. If we look at it like that, it'll be nice when we can get rid of the pollution factor, but it's definitely somewhere. Let's take a look at overlays. And we want to look at pollution. Health map. Maybe more ambulances would help? I do have quite a few. Education is the biggest thing for health, I think, for me. Or maybe just more ambulances driving around. Alright, well, we, we can afford to build, uh, max out our ambulance base. Well, we, we could have afforded it. The freaking ambulances are really expensive. Crime seems to be okay, not terrible. Still annoyed, annoyed we had no water. You have water. Oh, stop complaining. Uh, fire safety. Fire looks okay though. Right? I mean, we could definitely use a larger fire station in this city. So here we've gotten some. Uh, manufacturing. Places, but it seems like we still need workers. What was I doing? They said they need a place to ship freight. But the local foot freight yards are empty, so that's just a time delay thing. And Alrighty. It does look like, however, Sunnyvale is sort of starting to max out just a little bit. Uh, on in that one respect. Now, I wonder if I can actually get Sims to move in right here. Or if they're gonna hate living next to the recycling depot. The other option is I could move the recycling depot. And I could have this area free for people, which the city desperately needs more workers. Uh, no, rent isn't appropriate. Commercial in this town is doing really well, though. Well, I'm afraid shopping is... over here. 
Maybe some medium wealth commercial? That's what we need. What do my RCI indicators tell me? We need medium wealth commercial. All right, well, that's fair. So let's go like this and just dezone here. And then let's go like this here. I will show you how to make a million dollars and you will be like, I do not believe. 10 points if you remember that video. That's an oldie but a goodie. No, fit in the... No deal. Alright, well. Tree line path. Tree line path. And a pond in the middle? Aw, oh, come on. Let me place it there. What a joke. I have no idea if these guys will be happy enough to grow. Maybe. Looks like it. Some medium wealth commercial demand, which is not showing up at all on our little tool. Little tool tip. I like that, the idea of like all these medium wealth houses being the houses with the views. Although this would probably be a really good place for those high wealth sims. I don't really feel like building high wealth sims because they're a pain in the butt. Of course you do. New office buildings. So this is a low wealth... These are low wealth, high density. Hmm. They look really sweet. I like these buildings quite a bit. They even have like the... If you look, they even have the water towers for pumping the water up top. Air, con air conditioning units and stuff. This guy here. Traffic seems to be okay too. Sorry, I'm not really. I'm not really building a lot. I, I kind of wanted to fine tune this city just a little bit. Mostly, what I wanted to do is get rid of all the dirty factories. See if we couldn't clean up the pop pollution. I don't know if it's done much, but we could take a look here at. Looks like the germs have gone down by quite a bit. Obviously high tech is going to be the easiest. The difference between the three are that, from what I can read here, is that uh, medium tech employs like an equal or a more equal amount of all three while still employing a lot of um, low wealth sims, which is kind of what I want. I kind of like the the medium tech. Unfortunately, it's not as clean as I would like. It's kind of neat with the the two things there, though. A lot of neat little buildings. What to do about you? I'd really like this area not to just have a depot there. So, let's see about that. Oh, water time. Come here, you. Brook. Yeah, no problems there. These people are the first to run out of water. I wonder if I can change that by bringing a road to them. Yeah, well, let's give it a try. No. Come on, really? But it, it's so close. <laughs> now they can pump water along up there. I also think we could probably go like this. Now I wonder if I can get... Oh, they already are medium wealth. I guess the land value here must just be really high. City park, community park. Why can't it... 
I want to put it right there. Grumble. No. All right. So then, this one right there, and right there, just to make sure that these guys are happy. I like the idea of there being like beachfront homes and stuff like that. That's kind of, kind of what I'm about here. All right, we got lots of buildings growing. Density is definitely, definitely coming up. All right, well let's take a look here. What do we need? Okay. Still processing, huh? That's a shame. All right. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And take all of the things we're providing to this guy away because that's what the wellness van looks like, by the way. Perfect. Because we're going to break ground on multi planes I think uh, let's go ahead I, I think I think there's one or two more things we can do in this video to this city <sighs> how's crime going fire all of the industry grew except for these places and I actually think I might just get rid of them although that one's medium that one medium medium Oh, never mind. Just these three. And this guy. I'll tell you what. Go away. And you too. And then what we're gonna do... Hmm... Hmm. This is a really bad place to have the dump. That's eight garbage trucks and a trash incinerator. Hopefully this here can contain our capacity uh, and we can get rid of this dump. And actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go like this and just turn off, turn on the incinerator. I don't know if that'll work. Turn off that, no. Okay, hold on, we'll turn it on. Turn off that garbage pile. No, that one off. That one off. That one off. All right. Now, no more collection to this dump. Now, I'm hoping, actually, you know what I'm just gonna do? I'm just gonna go like this. That should leave us with zero garbage trucks. And I'm going to destroy that zone and that zone and there. Alright, now hopefully the incinerator will burn off all the trash in here and I can just delete this and then the garbage trucks from this dump will not bring garbage to here. That's my hope. Um, I don't know how successful... I will be. At that. Because I'd like to continue this um, redevelopment to keep the small portion of factories that we do have dense and everything pocketed up in that corner there and sort of reclaim a bunch of this land here. Although I have no idea where I'm going to put that bad boy. Um, 
I'm out of space. The city's growing really nice though. We're almost at a hundred thousand people. Filling well, I don't I don't understand that metric, but anyway. Not many commuters, but we'll fix that. Or not many visitors, but we'll fix that. Not many uh, low density buildings left either. Freaking wait time is just unreal. I don't think I need another bus though. I mean, I have almost 20 buses. All these students having smokes. <laughs> having a cigarette between classes, that's what college is like. If you smoke, that's for sure. One of the uh, keys to keeping these places happy is having a place for or a freight delivery place. They seem to be complaining more about um, I need to research the clean coal generator, that's for sure. I'd like to be able to turn off the dirty coal generators. They co it costs me more money, but... Yeah, maybe we'll go like this. Just trying to clean up the pollution a little bit. I really don't like the option of having to go uh yeah I don't like the option of having to use one of the clean cleaner quote unquote cleaner power methods because believe it or not they're actually incredibly um they're not they're hard to use annoying to use so hopefully that'll reduce the pollution generated by that. And hopefully the collection is going up here, not to here, and this is burning it off. So I don't want to have to delete that because I think it all becomes ground pollution. So we've tightly tuned this city a little bit better, I think. We've gotten rid of some things uh, and improved some things. You know, one of the things I wanted to do was get these factories done. I think I've done that quite well. Let's take a look. One abandoned building. Where were the abandoned buildings going? Huh. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Am I just totally retarded? Why can't I find this building? Is it hidden behind a building? Where are you? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, um, I hope you guys will join me for the next Let's Play SimCity. My plan is to, uh, now that this city's been a little bit better tuned, my plan is to um, start a new city and take advantage of, try to eliminate these green bars. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do that. Um, whether I'm just going to make a city that's all residential or if I'm going to use the method that I had started using in Dartmouth. But we'll see. My goal is to get Sims into the commercial uh, buildings here, spending their money. And so, yeah, I hope you guys will join me and thanks for watching.